Hello Shida, welcome back to the Podcast Forex. We'll be giving you our weekly Forex focus. Hello Shida, this is GBPUSD. For GBPUSD, as you know, this past week we're expecting price to push all the way up to around this area, then start to give a pivot here all the way up. Now this we had an extension here. This is manipulation. That's why you see that um, we pushed down and then we had a little spike here. Then price is starting to pivot otherwise here. So from here, we can expect price to keep moving up like this all the way up just as we had expected from this area like this just as we had expected. Or alternatively from here, we can have price move up like this one. Then then, then we move, uh, we get a little correction here. Then we move another up, up to around this area then probably we move another up here all the way up to this area then we can assess price how price behaves at around this area but expectation here is that we are expecting to get an up move here We're expecting to get an up move here on GBPUSD. so you should be on the on the lookout for that either all the way up to this area or beyond but we'll, we'll have to assess it as it unfolds and give you the idea of what is about to take place next that's on gbp usd this is cadjpy now for CADJPY, just as we said this previous week, we said we're expecting price to break this low here up to around this area. But you can see that price went even deeper. Price went even deeper. But this low has been broken just as we had stated this previous week. Now from here, you can expect uh, two things to happen here. This next week, you can happen. You can expect that from this area, price can uh, move like this, correctively and then we have one more drop here. One more drop here. This is a possibility based on how. Uh, price is unfolded here our price has unfolded here we can we might have a little change of structure but at the end of the day this will just be an extension to this bigger corrective structure it will just be an extension for that correction L then later this uh, bigger up move that was expected from this area then now it can it can follow through we can follow through after we get something like this then maybe one more drop we can start to experience continuation up on cadjpy next we have euro gbp now for euro gbp this is uh, what's happening here based on how price was unfolding this previous week based on how price was unfolding we were expecting to get an up move like this breaking this previous high slightly breaking this previous high slightly then from here from around this area uh, would read price but you can see that this just shot through that that level all the way up to around this area I just shot through that level all the way up to this area this impulse move has a meaning meaning that uh, this next week we can have maybe a slight corrective structure here then we might have another up wave another up wave like oh we might just have a pullback instead of a correction then we start even to push up but the up move won't be as bigger uh, so just expect just an, an up move that will barely break this previous high just a corrective structure like this then up this is what we're expecting based on structure that our opinions are based on structure everything we say everything we predict for you is just based on reading price and reading structure that's on euro gbp now let's move on to the next pair this is euro aud now for euro aud uh just as you've been following our, our channel on a weekly basis right from this area we focused on an up move to break this previous high and then from there we focused on a drop to break this previous low and break this previous low and we got that drop as you can see and from here we start to focus an up move like this which is expected to break this previous high that's a movement that we focused it and then you can see that price is starting to move all the way up just as focused here so from this area just be on the lookout there's a chance we might get a corrective structure here or a pullback then still push up one more time like that uh, just as highlighted here there's a chance that we might get uh, something that would follow this template here that we have provided here on euro aud now let's move on to the next pair this is gbpchf now this pair here clearly this pair has been manipulated here uh, this the expectation was to get this last up move before getting a drop but there's a catch up here there's a catch up because from here after getting this this drop uh, you can already tell that there's there's an expected up move expected to break this previous high like this even though it was manipulated but here you can tell that it is an up move that's expected to break this previous high all the way up to this area that's on GBPCHF so if uh, you'd like to take this this setup here you'd like to look for an entry you can be looking forward for entry this next week if your entry strategy gives you a, a go ahead to get in uh, uh, then get in you shouldn't take this as me giving you an entry i'm just trying to help 
you with a direction so i'm saying that direction is up direction is up might mean that we get another corrective structure then one last drop up to around this area taking down your stop loss then up okay it's up to your entry strategy to how it it it, it leads you in into the setup if you'd like to learn how uh, we, we get some of these entries we look for entries in the market then uh, go ahead and request to be part of the inner circle via email or via whatsapp it's everything is on the description of the video so on gbpchf like we said directions up breaking previous high this is gbp nzd now gbp nzd right around this area right around this area here right around this area here expectation was to get a drop but you can see it's not giving any entries no entry is being given here on gbp and that is just continuing to move up 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 like this so now right from this area there's an opportunity there's an opportunity to start looking for a sell opportunity a sell a sell move the sell move might not be uh, a huge one but but from here you can uh, we can get something like this like this we can get something like this up to around this area and that's expectation at, at, at least uh, up to around this area there's an opportunity there's also chances that we might even go deeper but we won't talk about that now right now we'll just tell you that there's an opportunity to move down from this area all the way up to this area and when we get to this area we can assess structure and give you the next move but as of now this is what we have for you this is NZUSD. Now for NZUSD, like we said this previous week, there's a drop that's expected. Just that from here, uh, after reading this movement, we just expected an up move, breaking previous high, breaking previous high, then get this drop. Now you can see that this drop happened prematurely. We just had a drop pour down like this. That's that's on the four hour. Now I, I, I reading structure, just noticed to why price is just pouring like this down even before uh, giving this up move so let me just go to the one day and just kind of like show you the bigger view the bigger view now looking at the bigger view this down move is still yet to complete up to around this area because this is one big correction this is one big correction and then we're expecting price to either just give a little uh, uh turbulence here then one last drop up to around this area one last drop up to around this area and then later after this movement completes we are to expect one big move one big move on nzdusd so you should be prepared for for such a move just be patient if you get an opportunity uh to to be trading this drop and you know how to trade it you can go for it but it's a little risky just keep in mind it's a little risky riskier than uh, looking for a one big move and this one big move is going to break this previous high and break this previous high that's what we're expecting on nzdusd and this is on the long term this is on the long term this movement is on the long term so don't expect it uh, to take place on monday or tuesday so this this is just the move that we are predicting for you on the long term our expectation was up and we say that if we don't get any opportunity of entry here then we will be ignoring this thing but uh, going back into the charts and looking at the chart into the one day now it makes sense to why we got this drop here this is nzdcd for nzdcd this previous week one of our expectations was to get price from here move up move up all the way up to this area then get a drop alternatively we also stated that from here there's a, still a chance the price can still move down to break this previous low this previous low here now you can see the price moved down and even it even went beyond that low here all the way up to around this area so from this area this is this is not a surprise uh, part of structure uh, this was a, an alternative route for price to take now even though it was the the, the route with the list chain still price decided to go with that route now from here based on how structure is behaving here there's a chance that we might push all the way up to this area then get a corrective structure or a pullback up to around this area then move up or from here or from here we can consider this spike as a pullback since price has already moved up we can consider this spike as a pullback uh, if you go to the lower time frames to the 15 minutes or the 30 minutes you'd realize that this is actually just a corrective structure or a pullback uh, so from here we can expect either price to push up like this breaking this previous high and then maybe uh, get some kind of a corrective structure then push up again then from here there's a chance that we might push 
drop, breaking previous low. Like this, it's, 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 it's a possibility. So we'd have to have price push up to this area, all the way from here to this area, then assess how price behaves at this area. Assess how price behaves at this area. If price behaves uh, showing that we're getting a reversal, then that's a good opportunity to sell. If price shows continuation up, then if you are buying from this area, that's an opportunity to keep your setup. Now that's for NZDUSD. Now that's for NZDCD. This is USDJPY. Now for USDJPY, based on how structure is, is, is showing us here, we might get a corrective structure up to around this area. Up to around this area, then start to get a drop. This might just be a drop breaking previous low and breaking previous low, maybe up to around this area. But, 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 there's an opportunity that this might be even bigger than this. Now let me go to the one day time frame and just show you the bigger view. Let me show you the bigger view. Uh, based on how structure has be behaved here, this impulsive move, there's an opportunity that we might push all the way up to this area and then get a corrective structure. Then start to move lower, get a corrective structure, get to start, start to move lower like this. We might get something like this or something similar to this on USDJPY. That is what we're focused on based on current structure. This is USDCHF and I hope you've been following our prediction on this pair right from this area we predicted up move and then we say that after this up move completes we would start to get a drop that is uh, those are some of the predictions we've been making so from this area here we're predicting to you that you can expect a corrective structure then more down you can expect corrective structure then more down based on how structure has been behaving that's on usdchf this is euro nzd and for euro nzd you can expect a corrective structure like this or a pullback it's even tradable if you if you get an opportunity to be able to look for entry but uh, uh, you can be able to 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 look for an entry to sell from this area but just keep in mind that usually this movement is just so decisive that uh, in some scenarios you can just have it pushing 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 like this and not giving you a sell opportunity or maybe the sell that you're gonna get is just gonna be a smaller corrective structure then it continues up so in my opinion it's best to be only looking for up moves in this direction only direction up because there's a chance that we might be uh, getting something like this a pullback up to this area and there's a chance that we might get a pullback just a small one and then up and then up so you never know this what you know is that this movement will continue higher so you can just wait for it to reach this point and then look for an up move that's on your NZD. Just as stated this previous week on AUD NZD, we stated that we're expecting price to push higher. Uh, as you can see, we got a pullback, and there's a chance that we might push all the way up, then like this, breaking previous high, breaking previous high. That's on AUD NZD. There's an opportunity also that we might have a big corrective structure like this, then push up, breaking previous high. This is GBPJPY, and for GBPJPY, remember we talked about continuation down. After getting this, we talked about a movement, then we said we're going to get an up move breaking previous high, and then we say that from then we're going to get a drop. Then this drop delayed a little bit, but it came through uh, just as predicted initially, breaking previous low, breaking previous low. Now, if you are a lover of this pair, uh, GBPJPY, you can look forward to uh, just maybe... We might get a, a small corrective structure and one more drop here, breaking previous low. Then from here, we might get a bigger impulse corrective structure. Then price may start pushing higher. This is the possibility. This is one of the possibilities that we can get. We can also have price from here just moving up and then just getting a small corrective structure. Then from here, just moving up like this. There's also uh, another route which price can follow is up move corrective structure then up to this area then get one more drop breaking previous low then from here then we can have one big movement so those are the alternatives remember in forex we work with probability so i'm just uh, giving you the possibilities that that we have at hand here so that you can prepare for them and one thing to keep in mind here the common movement is for, to move from here up to this area so up to this area then price would then decide if it drops or if it continues so if you're able to look for a, an opportunity to buy at this point just keep in mind that uh, you manage your trade at this point now some of you some of you uh, some of you have been commenting weekly 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 
put your USD, put your USD. Now I'm gonna be adding your USD for you this week. I'm gonna be adding your USD for you this week. So Euro USD, expect a corrective structure here or a pullback, then price can start to move up and, and it's promising a, a bigger movement here. That's Euro USD. That's the four hour. That's the four hour on Euro USD. Corrective structure, then up. Corrective structure. The corrective structure might not might even not be big. It might just be a small one. Then we start to continue up. Now let's go on, go on to the one day time frame for Euro USD. If we go into the one day, and then you see we suddenly just got a, an erect bar on 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 the one day time frame. So this should just show you that we might just get a little turbulence here. Then we start pushing higher, and and the higher movement that we're about to get on Euro USD, there's a high chance that it's it's gonna be an impulse move up like this. That is what we're focusing for you on Euro USD. So uh, here it's unknown how deep the correction might go. This might just be a, a small corrective structure, or a deeper corrective structure like this, or even a deeper corrective structure like this. So uh, because I'm focusing on the one day now, it's not that visible. So let me go into the four hour. I was saying that because uh, this is just a, an impulse move, we might get a small corrective structure like this, then up. Or we might get a, a structure similar to this, up to around this area. Then price may start to continue higher. 